The Ash Conformity Experiment is a series of psychological experiments conducted by Solomon Ash in the 1950s. This experiment aims to reveal the extent to which a person's opinion is influenced by the opinion of the group. Ash found that people were willing to ignore reality and give wrong answers to fit in with the rest of the group. Based on a number of sources that the group found, the Ash Conformity Experiment had violated several ethical guidelines related to informed consent, deception, and protection from harm. Informed consent, participants were not fully informed about the research objectives or methods, so they may agree to participate then change their mind, but find it difficult to withdraw because they have agreed. Deception, when participants are intentionally misled about the purpose of the research from some aspect of the research in which they are taking part. Again, it could be considered demeaning to participants to lie to them for research purposes. Protection from harm, it is considered morally unacceptable for a psychologist to harm participants in a research study, and in this experiment, the participants may be under stress during the procedure. After which those who conform may feel stupid and angry because of the deception. This might cause them psychological harm. Four of them and one of me. Uh, one. This subject's yielding is based on a distortion of his judgment. He genuinely believes that the group is correct. One. 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 Two. The importance of ethical issues. Ethical issues are important to be studied together due to two main reasons. First, the goal of psychology is to increase people's understanding of human behavior and the belief that this knowledge is useful in helping individuals at large. Many psychologists argue that this goal is incompatible with manipulating and hurting people to find out how it works. Second, the ethical issues raised by many studies have damaged the image of psychology in the eyes of the general public. As a result, members of society misunderstand the purpose of psychology and are reluctant to trust psychologists. This can lead to situations where researchers run out of participants for study or research activities. The solution that the group suggested was to conduct a debriefing as soon as possible after the participants' participation in the study ended. The reason is that the trick used in this study is important to obtain maximum results. If the participant is notified that the research is being conducted to test the conformity of the participant, it is likely that a demand characteristic will arise or suggest to the participant what the objectives and hypotheses of the research are carried out, and then cause the participant to respond or behave in accordance with the research objectives and hypotheses, or participant reactivity, or the tendency of participants to change their behavior due to the fact that they are participating in a study. Thus. The deception method in this study can be carried out, but due to deception, debriefing must also be carried out immediately. Debriefing itself can be interpreted as a post-experimental explanation of the real purpose of research conducted on participants, especially if the research uses deception. Now, we will enter the interactive quiz session, which consists of five multiple choice questions. The first question, what is the Ash Conformity Experiment related to? A. Social perception, how we come to understand other people. B. Interpersonal attraction, from first impressions to close relationships. C. Conformity, influencing behavior. The correct answer is C. Conformity, influencing behavior. The second question, the Ash Conformity Experiment has violated several ethical guidelines, except A. Scientific misconduct B. Deception C. Informed consent The correct answer is A. Scientific misconduct The third question, what is protection from harm? A. When participants are faced with the risk that they will suffer psychological damage both in the short and long term. B. When participants are intentionally misled about the purpose of the study or the nature of some aspect of the research in which they are taking part. C. When the participants' consent to take part in the study was not obtained. The correct answer is A. When participants are faced with the risk that they will suffer psychological damage both in the short and long term. The fourth question, 
which is not a solution to the ethical problem in the ash conformity experiment? A. Monitoring the participants to see the side effects of the study. B. Debriefing. C. Ignoring his responsibilities and integrity as a psychological scientist. The correct answer is C. Ignoring his responsibilities and integrity as a psychological scientist. Last question. Which of the following statements is not an explanation of debriefing? A. Researchers also share with subjects any and all information related to what the purpose of the research was, as well as what the findings indicate. B. Once a study has been completed, the researcher is not required to provide participants with accurate and appropriate information about the nature of the experiment or study. C. Subjects are informed about what the hypothesis for the experiment was as well. The correct answer is B. Once a study has been completed, the researcher is not required to provide participants with accurate and appropriate information about the nature of the experiment or study. That's all from group 11. Thank you for watching this video until the end. See you in the next videos.